What's good? This is Trav from WeGotBeats.com, and today I'm going to show you how to chop samples in FL Studio. I'm going to get straight to the point. Now, uh, what we have here is a sample that someone requested me to flip. So we're going to just go ahead and drag this in. If you don't have a folder in your hard drive somewhere of just your uh, things to sample and chop, I really recommend it. Mine's all organized by year and uh, date so I can easily find it. Uh, we're going to do this Yes Starship Trooper, all right? And what I like to do, and what most people do in FL Studio, is we use the Slice X. You can come over here to Insert, and it will be in your plugins. If not, you can go to More Plugins, and it'll load up a list. And all you have to do is find it in here. You can actually just type it in in FL Studio 12. You can type in Slice X. It'll come up right there. You just want to hit that check mark and bam, it'll be right in your, uh, right there in your, um, uh, plugins. So we're going to delete the second one. All right. Now this is what I do. Once I found my sample, that's what we're going to chop today. So you right click, you left click, send to selected channel or focus plugin. Make sure that's selected. You do that, it's going to load it straight up. See, it's decoding it. And we got the sample in here. Now, this is the thing that I want to be straight up clear about, all right, is that you do not want this auto dump feature, all right? You want to check that off the first thing you do. Um, and keep your keyboard input on because, uh, like right now, I don't have my uh, Akai MPK hooked in. I am going to be using it old school with my regular keyboard. So uh, you want to make sure you have that so you can actually, uh, you know, play it from your keyboard. So just make sure you ch uh, check off that auto dump feature. And we're going to zoom in here. And what mo I've see I see this mistake a lot is people like using the auto chop feature. And that it it's the old school in me. Don't use auto chop. It never gets it right on point. You always have to go in and mess with it. All right. It's about feeling. All right. There's no easy way about this. You, you got to go in and really uh, listen to the song you're about to sample and chop it up where you think, I mean, you, when I heard this sample, I already knew kind of what I wanted to do to the beat. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to make a little beat here and uh, show you how I do this. So without any further ado, I'm going to show you how to chop a sample. Now, what you have here is, all right, we're going to go straight to the downbeat. Let me play this. Oh, yeah, you can hit the space bar. And you want to make sure you get it right on that downbeat, okay? You don't want any air right there. So we're going to come over here to add remove marker. So we got the first marker right there. So we can actually hit Q on the keyboard. And it will play the first chop. So let's listen to this. This is our second chop right here. See, and it makes it, it, makes it way easier with the the waveforms so if you can read the waveforms uh you can get it a pretty precise chop back in the old school we had to listen to it by ear and if you want those really precise chops you really have to listen to it. and it takes some time to really master but with programs like this it's very easy very simple And notice we're getting it right on the ride because that's where the, it's like a met it's acting as a metronome. So we know that's where our uh, basic chops are going to be. And like I said, whenever I hear a sample, I pretty much have the beat already in my head. So I know exactly how I want to chop this. And we're going to come over here. You want to zoom out a little bit, move it to the, the right. Zoom back in. And just keep hitting that space bar. Alright, that's good for right now. I might go in and add some more chops later, but for a basic beat, that's what we got. So, right now, what we want to start doing is uh, getting the tempo right. 
and uh, start adding our chops. I'm going to just point and click with this so that I can show you how to do this. Uh, we're going to hit the metronome. We got 175. We'll probably change that. But it's just an arbitrary, uh, uh, you know, how I hear the beat. It's somewhere around there. So We got the tempo just right, I think. Uh, that's going to be our first pattern right there. And of course, we can go ahead and uh, do the velocities. That's another secret. Whenever you're hitting it on the on the keys or on the MPC or whatnot, uh, you want to you want to control the velocity. Now, in hip hop music, there's not a lot of dynamics, but um, uh, that's how you control help control your dynamics is with the velocities. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to go to pattern. how easy that was now let's go to the uh um playlist we're gonna put our first pattern down and we are going to add our second pattern this is just a very rough draft bare basic beat all right just to start getting an idea feeling it out more and uh you know figure out uh where to take it from there so we're gonna go in here and we're just gonna pick some arbitrary drums i think i'm going to go into the uh drum pack that I just chopped up from some records. So we're going to come over here. Uh, shout out to uh, Cook and Soul. Shout out to uh, Kev Barnes, Luxury Loops. You need to go get his pack, Metro Boomin. That's got a lot of great drums. That was for free download. But I chopped up some drums not too long ago. And uh, it's under the We Got Beats kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these because I, I really want like a, a a nice boom bat beat. That's what I hear with this. is a It's a really rough rock sample. Uh, it, it, it needs those rough drums. They don't need trap drums. It needs those rough drums. That's another secret. Whenever you're doing music, you need to really pick out the drums to match your your sound. You want them shits knocking. So we got some uh, some nice drums here. We're just gonna do this real fast. And I always like putting at pattern 10. That gives me room for extra stuff, automation, whatnot. So let's go ahead and click that off and listen to this. Okay, so that's our bare basic beat right there. Now, what I like to do, I'm going to give you just a few more tips if if you want to stick around for a second. All right, so we got our drum pattern right here. Now, if you hit Control X on your keyboard, we want to separate these drums. So we got our kick on this pattern. Now, we're going to move to pattern 11, and we're going to hit Control V. That's going to paste the snare and the hi-hat. Now, we're going to deselect that snare, Control X. Uh, control C and then Control X and then we're going to go to pattern 12 and then again Control V and that has our hi-hat. So now we have our drums separated which is going to uh, make it a little bit easier to do switch ups later. So we got that and uh, I'm going to move these out a little bit. But I already hear like a drum fill in there like 
you know, just going crazy at the at the end of a, a eight bar loop. So we're going to go ahead, copy and paste this. And then what we want to do, I'm going to delete those. We're going to go to pattern nine and then we're going to go ahead. Get these drums back in there. Sometimes it's really pain in the ass to go ahead and, you know, do this point and click shit. But, you know, the struggle's real sometimes. I know because I did it for years, but I got the Akai MPK. I wish I could hook it up, but it never wants to work right whenever I'm doing these videos. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing here, you know, uh, do this, do this. And what we're going to do is add that extra fill right here. And we're going to go to the select tool in the playlist. We're going to copy. I mean, we're going to drag this over so we can just hear this. Now I hear I hear the the kit going a little bit crazy. Now if you're wondering how to do all those uh, crazy hi hats and stuff and trap beats and doing all that, you want to come over here to the snap tool. All right. So you can see we got it on a sixth beat right now. I want to move that to a third beat. And we're gonna get rid of that, and then I'm thinking about doing something like this. As you can hear, the mix is really muddy, so what we're going to do is we're going to select all four of these channels so we can do just a basic mix so that we can get some of that muddiness out. So you want to select all these, all right, and then come over here to your mixer and go to the first insert, and we're going to hit control and then, uh, crap, my bad. Hold on. Wait a minute. I hit the wrong key. Uh, let's do that over again. All right, so we're going to select all that. We're going to hit Control Shift L, and it's going to load all the tracks that you selected, all the channels, I mean, you selected, and it's going to put them into the mixer so you don't have to, you know, do all this craziness and then rename it. It names it all for you. So that's the best way to do it. Quick. Panning my uh, my uh, hi hat and snare so that it will be like a real drum kit. On a real drum kit, you're gonna hear the hi hat a little bit off to the left, and you're gonna hear that snare all the a uh, little bit to the right. So uh, that was one of the my first tips when I first started making my own beats. Shout out to Low and Bad from a uh, uh, Madhouse. That's old school form. Uh, he's the one that taught me that he's a drummer himself. He mixes his own, his own music So that was one of the first tips I ever got when I was mixing And so that's how you chop a sample in FL Studio. Uh, check the card uh, at the end of this video so you can listen to the full beat when I got it uploaded. Uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. If you got any questions, hit me up and go to wegotbeats.com to download some banging beats. Take care.